I happened to see uh, Willy's Wonderland uh, too long ago. Do, have any of you guys heard of that? That's the no. Nicholas Cage. I, I've heard of it. Kind yeah. of like Five Nights at Freddy's kind of situation. Exactly. Animatronics. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so if you, there's a game called Five Nights at Freddy's. It is kind of similar to that, where there's like it's kind of like a Chuck E. Cheese type place with animatronic characters, but they turn evil. Mm -hmm. And um, so it's kind of like another one of those. But here's where it gets good. Um, to take out all these animatronics, who do you get? Nicholas Cage. So if you want yeah. to see Nicholas Cage fucking up a bunch of animatronics, then <laughs> sounds uh, pretty fun. Yeah, yeah. Nicholas Cage is always a good time. Yeah. Oh, you know it's funny. What's different about this role though? He doesn't say like anything the whole movie. He does the whole role silent. Oh yeah. And it's just as good because Perfect. he has that yeah. intense face the whole time. <laughs> um, What's the movie called? Uh, Willy's Wonderland because it's the Wally's, name of Wally, like the Wally, Wally. oh yeah. Wally is it Wally's? Wally's? It's one of them. It might be I Willy's. Think it's, yeah. I think it's Willy's. But you know, I'm interested in animatronic movies like that where something that's not supposed to be evil becomes evil. You know, like Mr. Bucket or right. mm -hmm. if you yeah, saw I love my uh, Mr. Bucket is, is yeah, yeah classic. If you it's saw like, my uh, horror premise video, you know my the movie that I'm hoping to do someday. Yeah. It, it involves animatronics, but mm -hmm. that's all I'll say. Yeah, I forgot um, how much you said in that video, but yeah, there's a lot of that. Yeah, where it takes place inside of an amusement park ride, an abandoned one, and there's all these animatronics in there. But if you want to get the whole story, uh, or Act One, uh, check out the video. It's called My Horror Premise. Um, the other movie I just saw last night. But this was a documentary on Netflix about Bob Ross. And, um, you know, I'm a huge fan of Bob Ross. He's like one of my childhood heroes. The title of the documentary is a little bit trying to get attention, I think, because it's called Bob Ross, Happy Accidents, Betrayal and Greed. And I was really worried going into it. I'm like, oh, crap, are they going to ruin Bob Ross for me? Like, did, mm -hmm. did, what did Bob Ross do? And thankfully, no, it's not like that. Um, it's actually, it, it celebrates him a lot. But it's more about the people who fucked him over. And now, after watching that, I feel so sad to buy any Bob Ross merch or anything. Oh, because he doesn't go to him, right? Or doesn't like go to his family. Thing. Yeah, yeah it, it, was it was supposed to go to his family, but, but it doesn't. Um, so basically, there was this battle over oh, his crazy. name. When they knew he had cancer and that he was going to die, they were already like trying to take the whole his his IP and everything. Oh wow, I didn't know that. And, and um, Spoiler it's so alert. sad. Yeah, and like <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, you know, I I like, I mean, I, it doesn't really spoil the documentary. I mean, the documentary goes into all the detail about it. Sure. So, you know, I don't want to say too much about it, but uh, the the part that really um you know, stuck with me was just thinking about, you know, how peaceful he is, you know, when he's painting and like, and his son talked about how he was behind the scenes, he was fighting with them to keep his, his name, you know, yeah. for his kids or anything. So he would have these like angry phone calls and stuff. Then he'd go in and he'd, and he'd record, you know, and he'd be painting. And then you hear him say things that now kind of make a lot of sense where he's like, you know, when I paint, that's the only time when I feel like I'm in total control. Right. It's like, wow. Yeah. Hmm. You used to paint like Bob Ross. Yeah, yeah. I was eleven and <laughs> I was yeah. eleven and twelve. Yeah, my mom he took had me a whole to this collection of them. Yeah, my mom took me to this class, and that's when the joy of painting was on. Yeah. Um, it was kind of toward the end. I think it was in like one of the later seasons by that time. But um, I used to watch it all the time after Sesame Street when I was like a kid all oh, the time. Yeah. yeah. My, and my mom can actually do the. She used to just watch every episode. She does all the techniques and stuff. Huh. She paints on glass though. Whoa. Oh, wow. Yeah, so I, I did a video on Bob Ross, if you want to see that. That was like a few years ago. Um, but uh, yeah, check that out. There's a, you probably just look up Cinemasker, James Rolfe, Bob Ross review. So yeah. Yeah.